Hello everyone and welcome back to another The Ace Talk Show radio style. You know what to do, just listen on in, uh, keep playing your game and uh, don't forget to leave a comment or a uh, suggestion or even if you want to invite to the show. Uh, t but today's topic is going to be about Bonamy Bay, which hasn't been released yet. There's been a lot of talk about it. And today with me we have two guests. It's going to be uh, ADZ and Kevville. Uh, Hello. Hello. So what do you guys think of this uh, Bonamy Bay? Uh, I think it's a good idea. It's going to make things fun. That's for sure. Especially if you get caught doing it. You'll be able to... I don't know what... You're going to be involved in what happens to them, aren't you? So that's why I quite like. Well, I think there's um, a lot about it. Too much that we don't know to really know how it's going to work yet. What the outcome will be. <laughs> right. I mean, right now, as far as all the information that we are given is on forums or that video... Um, the, a lot of people are are always asking the questions about, you know, what is it really and why do it? Why do three warnings or two warnings and then the band? You know, isn't that too much? <laughs> and then there's, of course, there's always the questions about um, what if a real player is blamed? Right. Now, but they've said, though, they've got a program that can undeniably define if you're botting, can't they? Right. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, from what I've read, is that the program actually is already running, one of the main part of the programs is already running in-game right now, as far okay. as being able to detect the game, uh, detect the bots or not. So they already know that works. And then mm -hmm. when it comes to the, uh, the players being involved, it's basically... It's basically going to be being able to actually see the bots being destroyed. We get to pick how to destroy it. The bots going to be banned already. It's a good way for Jagex to show what they're doing and that they're actually trying to work on getting rid of bots and that they're actually getting rid of them rather than we don't really see anything. We just have to guess that they're actually working on it and hope to see less bot numbers in the game. Whereas now we can, I guess, throw rotten potatoes at them or tomatoes at them. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, I don't know, though, what else that really does. I mean, it can be fun to watch and choose how the bots get destroyed or, or banned or whatnot, but does that really accomplish anything in the long run? Well, in, in the long run, they're hoping that there will be no bots in the bottomy bay. I mean, it's all going to be focused on uh, any program that is going to be ran along with or on top of or or whatever with RuinScape. Basically, if there's a play or a start option to a program while you're logged in RuinScape to auto-click or type or anything, their <laughs> detection, I guess, is supposed to pick up on that, and so far it's been proven that working. It has been working already, so... But one of the main, another main question that I'd like to hear uh, an answer from you guys is, what about the RuinScape economy due to this? I think it's going to go up. Everything's going to go a lot more expensive. And I personally have taken a precaution and a hope and a gamble on this happening. Because I've bought 200,000 raw sharks and the last bot nuke, if I don't suppose any of you remember, everything rose. I've also got 11,000 rune ore because they've crashed since the last bot nuke. So I'm kind of hoping everything will improve. I think it's still a little bit of a risky bet. Um, I can't see the items going down any further in sense of trying to invest in something in the economy that's currently cheap because of bots. Because you really don't know what Jagic is going to do. They could go ahead and ban a bunch of people right away, ban a bunch of bots and everything starts going back up because there's more demand and not enough production. But they could totally fudge it up. <laughs> they could just not do it. They could lay it off True. longer and you can hold on for a long time. Um, unfortunately, in uh, the grand exchange economy, bots will always be a, always have a large impact 
on the prices and what's going on, how much you can buy a skill for if it's something you could pay for. And so with bots and even hopefully Botany Bay, it'll, it'll always change based on how many bots there are in the game until uh, there are none. And uh, then it'll just be up to what players are doing, what they enjoy, and what Jagex releases for new content. Right, and uh, I've talked to a lot of players in uh, different clans also, um, and they've mentioned that they're buying, uh, like ADZ said, sharks and you know different things to try to make some money off it. But then again, like like you said, it is iffy because there are gonna be a lot of players buying into the stock, and that could just allow it to stay balanced. Basically, it's not really. Well, it could make it go lower. Yeah, exactly. So it is a big gamble of taken, but it could pay off in the long run. But yeah, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, yeah, I'm just saying, if it doesn't, it's it's going to leave me a good 200 mil out of pocket. <laughs> That's pretty painful. Mm. One of the big worries, if you're trying to actually invest with the bot nuke, is uh, that every time there's another one, there'll be more and more people that are investing in it, the more people that know about it the less you're probably going to end up making for it. Uh, and also, of course, it depends on how long the bots stay away as well for whatever you're investing in. So if they nuke the bots and then just a week later there's a ton of bots doing the same thing to gather what you invested in, then it's not going to turn out well. Correct. Right, and that's that's one of the <laughs> other precautions that uh, Jagex says they're trying to take from the Jmods is they've already got the one program already actively running I don't know if you guys uh, pay attention to the the home page or whatnot before you log in to see how many players are actually online. Mm -hmm. um, but here lately, it normally was around like 145,000 players when I log in in the morning and stuff like that. And now since the last, I'd say, couple months, and mostly just this last month when I log in, I've noticed there's only been 88,000 players. So already there's a, a huge impact with uh, the program that they have in place as is. Yeah, I think they're getting getting certain certain groups, certain programs at a time, and I, I've always seen that that's pretty obvious because uh, most bots tend to be tend to act a specific way for their specific program or dress a certain way for the specific program. And after uh, let's see, it was I can't remember last month or two months ago, there was a a small bit of banning, it wasn't something huge, but there was a bit of banning, and um, I noticed just certain groups, certain outfits that I'd constantly see on bots would disappear, whereas the rest of them would just stay there because they were more up-to-date or just weren't part of the active program yet, so I know that's probably where you're going with, with uh, that they have, you know, a half of what they want active for their banning process and their detection process activated, and there's still more to go. Also, too, with this, uh, they said there was more to be released yet when they do release Bottomy Bay as far as, you know, the shaming. Shaming players in the game with that big old dragon hand coming down, pointing to the player. Do you guys think that's a good thing, or is that going to be a bad thing? Hmm. hmm. Well, it depends. I mean, if, if there's a giant shaming hand above, you know, a normal bot that's just being run by a, a large group to farm for gold... I don't think they'll really care because it's just no. it's just another it's another character that's being used to bot. It's not an actual player. If uh, <clears throat> it was an actual player, someone that was caught botting that you know actually liked their account, they're willing to try and protect their account even though they were botting with it stupidly. Then then yeah, there, there could definitely be a, a larger impact on someone, especially the younger they are, if they were caught botting, to uh, to have something shamed against them like that, rather than just you know, oh, you're a band, no one ever hears about it except maybe close friends. I don't know, but would would you would you be bothered about a big finger above you pointing at you, saying you've botted? Because frankly, if I saw somebody with that, it wouldn't really affect me, because you know that they've got away with it. Well, then that again, what if it's a, a clan mate or like one of your your RuneScape friends that you always thought was being uh, honest of how they play, but yet you found out that you know when you go meet up with them, there's a big hand above them. I don't know. It's a tough question, really. I can't really answer that unless you're in the position. But I don't think I'd judge them. It's obviously their decision. They've created the account. They want to put themselves in 
in that position or jeopardise it. So let them. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal having a, a hand of shame above your head. Is this just an emote, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, basically. There might even be people that purposely do it just to get the first just warning. Just to get it, yeah. Right. Hmm. Now, on, like, clans, do you think the clans are going to react to that? If a clan mate has the finger above their head, do you think the clans are going to react to that? Possibly. Some clans well, might not agree with it. Yeah, I think it'd be uh, preferential. Some might not care, some would care. Depends on uh, who's running it. Yeah. Right. Now, like my clan, uh, we try to base ourselves on v having very good morals and a lot of respect for each other. And uh, we don't even have uh, players in the clan that host games that hopefully this will help take care of also. And, yeah, if any one of my clan mates has a hand above their head, I'm kicking them. I mean, w that's how how we roll, I say, I guess you'd say. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh that's your choice, isn't it? That's obviously how you feel towards it. But what, let's say it was somebody that, when you started your game, was I've met people through this game, and they're actually good friends in real life now. And I've been over to meet them in different countries, and they've been here multiple times. And if that happened, I don't think I would stop being friends with them because it's if they've cheated to get a skill up, I don't think it's done anything to to me it's not really dishonest to me because what other people's skills are aren't really affecting my character so I don't think I could judge them on them cheating I'm not saying I agree with it but I couldn't I couldn't f lose friends because they've cheated yeah I don't know if I'd lose friends um, but I think it would, it would definitely vary on on what they'd done in the past. So if there was someone that was always, you know, going on about, oh man, look at look at all these levels I just got today. Look at how awesome I am. Look how great I'm doing. You know, you can't do any of that. You're not good enough. And then I found out they botted everything. <laughs> I guess I'd be a little upset. Right. Now, mm. well, like I said, I'd probably <clears throat> kick them right straight from my clan. Uh, and that's why also I always keep my friend chat open when I'm on is uh, there are some players that I have become good friends with, you know, either through Skype, through Enscape, or, you know, I've met from other places or whatnot, then they play the game, and I don't agree with things that they do, but however, you know, if this is a part of a way to get them to straighten up and actually play the game the way it's meant to be played, if they do that, oh, I'd more than welcome them back to the clan, of course. Yeah, I mean, even if they still have the big finger. Well, right. Well, the big hand is is basically just uh, the name of shame, just saying that, hey, you know, this player has been warned. Is it a permanent thing? So if you've been caught once and you get the hand of shame, is that there for life? No, as far as I understand, it's only going to be there until uh, you've been proven that you've turned off your botting software or your auto-typer or whatever. Uh, and okay. then once, you know, kind of like the mute type thing. You know, once oh. you you go through that uh, process, then it's removed. Now, with uh, going on with uh, the, the name of shame and stuff like that, what about these uh, hosts for games and that? Do you think this will impact them also because of using the autotypers? Will the game slowly phase out maybe? Well, not into the day, I don't think. A lot of people can type extremely fast. It's just laziness, I think, doing that host two times, whatever it is. That's just to spam over the other people so they get the higher recognition, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, some of them <laughs> will just sit there for five hours just, just playing flower games or whatever, and mm -hmm. uh, they just they can't type that long. It, their, their hands would start to cramp up after a while, I imagine. Like, yeah. So it's, it's get kind of lazy. I don't know if... Uh, do, do you know for sure if that is something that they would get uh, the hand for, the sh shame <coughs> finger or whatever for, is auto-typing? 
Yeah, Monmark actually, that was asked in the forums, Monmark posted that any macro or auto type program that's being played or started while in the game will be subjected to the bottomy bay uh, warnings and then possible banned if it has to go that far. Mm. If it's such a um, if it's such a big problem that they, they're trying to get rid of bots altogether and people that have cheated, why are they giving them like strikes? Well, the strikes, of course, is uh, basically just like we know from way back when we started, uh, when Jagex was you know owned by the original makers, um, and the rules were quite strict back then. Yeah. That you basically would get your black marks and stuff like that, or your warnings, and uh, then you could try to learn how to play the game without breaking the rules. I mean, uh, if you guys both remember, Kevil, I know you more than likely do, uh, that back then, you know, a mute was... Usually, if you were muted, you would had Actually, you would have players come up and tell you, hey, don't say that, don't do that, you're going to get muted. Yeah. You yeah. Were, I mean, that's how strict they were. And then once you were, and you got that uh, mark on your account, it's just like this warning for Bonamy Bay. You either choose to keep on doing what you're doing, or you correct yourself and become a, a better player, a real player of the game. But you get two warnings, don't you? Yeah, there you is... get a warning, and then you get the the hand of shame. Is it, or is that the first one? Uh, I believe the hand of shame is going to be right off the get-go that you've already been uh, marked once for being a bot. That they've already detected that account for being a bot right off the get-go for the first warning. So if it's such, that's what I mean. If it's such a big problem and they're trying to get rid of bots so much why are they giving them so many chances because they they do want the players to realize that they are breaking the rules and hopefully they will become a better player by understanding how they're breaking the rules and and to turn off that bot program or that auto program and play the game the way it's meant to be played i mean i can see the first warning and then the second warning becoming a band and it just instantly but they've gone as far as saying, okay, well, maybe they didn't understand the first warning, so we're going to do this as a second attempt for the second warning. And then your third one is a banned. There's, there's no warning. It's just going to be you are banned, and players are going to be able to watch or choose how your account is destroyed in Bottomy Bay. Mm. I guess it is a bit more noticeable. So, uh, you know, you get warned the first time, then you think, well, well, I, I switched off programs, you know, I'm not going to be detected, and then... Well, even so, actually, just, just the first warning, then, if with the big finger over you, you know that... You know that they're watching you, then, you know, you're not just... You haven't just been warned, you know, oh, just, yeah, don't do this anymore, and then they just forget about it. No, they're, they're really, they're really watching you, everything's <laughs> eyes on you. Right. Including the players, I suppose. Exactly. Uh, that's where I think the, uh the shame thing comes in because if it is like clan mates or your friends I would hope that you know if it is one of your friends or someone that you got to know personally that you would then of course if you see that hand above their account you would <coughs> confront them yourself as a friend saying hey you know I want to keep playing this game with you but you're gonna have to turn off that program that you're using yeah you know what I mean yeah hmm so it's getting more of, I think it will get more of the communities to help uh, the players become better players or play the game the way it's meant to be played. My fear, I suppose, is that with this bit of extra system is that it will uh, completely bog up and uh, slow down the banning of the big gold farm corporation bots. Because there's just so many, way more than I think there are actual people playing that that bot. And uh, I think I think the update is aimed at both of them. Uh, the big, you know, just choosing the destruction of their account thing. That's more for uh, more for the big gold farmer bots that they're just tons of and tons of just constantly flowing. They're being made as we speak, being created with new email addresses and 
And then the other half is for kind of the shaming factor and to try to get the actual players that are botting to understand that they're just going to be banned. You know, you need to stop or you're going to be banned. And so I, I guess it's a good thing. But for me, for me from the beginning, it's always been, I figure if, you know, you, you know you read the rules, you agreed that you read the rules and you understood them, and then you bought, I, I just, I still think you should be banned. If, if you really want to get rid of them, just instantly gone, which yeah. I know it was back when. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I do agree with the uh, the warning system. Like I said, I would rather have a one warning and then the second one being the band, you know, because from that first one, like you you said, Kevil, you know, you've already done agreed to the terms and conditions. So I mean, definitely, if you're a long running player and you decided, well, I'm getting bored of actually doing this, I'm going to use a bot program because nobody seems to be getting caught. The first warning would then make that player realize that, hey, you know, we are monitoring this now. And uh, turn it off and get rid of it and start playing the game like you're supposed to. So the the instant ban, I think, is not fair. But the first warning and then a second one, I think, would be fair enough. And that's been a really big topic in forums. Right, right. I suppose, <clears throat> I suppose you are actually a, a little bit right for a reason I hadn't thought of at first um, is that the bigger the game gets the more people we have that are from other countries that can't speak English or in fact any language that RuneScape was translated into and I suppose that could that could cause major issues with not really knowing the rules of the game and I, I suppose if you had a, one day a giant finger over your head you'd try and figure out that or assume that something was wrong, something wasn't right and uh, hopefully maybe then actually understand that you're not allowed to bot. Yeah. So I suppose that is good. Yeah. Right. I have come across players myself that are uh that speak Egyptian. And I'm like, well how can I translate this to you? Because you speak Egyptian. The game doesn't do Egyptian. But yet you're playing the game somehow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it just really it, it does make it a little bit hard. There's not too many languages that, or too many countries that don't have multilingual, uh, normally taught. Like French is a common one, Spanish is a common one, and uh, I'm trying to think of the other one that's uh, pretty common. I can't think of it right off the bat, but French is one of the main is is a really big one. English, of course, is now like second. It, it's the second language taught in almost every school nowadays. And uh, the Spanish, of course, is becoming a whole lot larger here in the U.S. So, yeah, <clears throat> I suppose so. Still, you know, there's still a very large chance, just based on the sheer population of the planet, that there's going to be someone that won't won't understand, won't be able to read it in whatever language this presented. Right. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if they got a hand above their head, they would be trying to find somebody that spoke their language or at least uh, was able to translate for them <laughs> what's going yeah. on. Hopefully ask some friends. Go, guys, well, what's, what's going on? <laughs> it's obviously a big issue, the bots, and that's one of the topics that we're talking about. What would be the rules on when you buy money? Because I've seen a lot of bots and macros who are saying, come to this website and buy money from us, how would that be found? And how would they know? Well, most of the uh, the bots as of now, uh, like the advertisements for the websites and stuff like that, well, of course, Bottomy Bay, once they add that extra program, uh, will help remove those. But they're always uh, doing uh, ongoing research of linking the accounts to emails, linking the accounts to other accounts, like a main account, and also who they trade. Um, Jagex has been able to track trades way back in 2003, I believe it is. Maybe it's 2004. It's in the archives uh, on the site of Jagex admitting that they can track your trades between the different accounts since way back then. So I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that if you buy gold from a site or even if you're selling gold to a site, you're still going to have to trade it to another account, which more than likely is going to get flagged for uh, botting anyways in most cases. 
So, I mean, if people are well, going to sell the gold or buy gold, expect to be, you know, get punishment for it. Yeah, that that's that was the question. If I say, for instance, I bought a million gold pieces off off you, uh, would I then get the hand of shame, or is buying things real world trade and let's say, is that then instant ban? From like, you know, if you're doing a real player to real player, doing yeah. the, the the real world trading, um, that isn't so much me focused on with this bottomy bay that's going to be more of them just watching the different accounts and different trades oh, okay so i mean later on they might actually uh as mod mark uh has put in that if we end up with no bots in bottomy bay well hooray we got rid of them and then they might look into actually sending other offenders with different things like scams and lures and stuff like that into bottomy bay if they're at the point of being banned, you know, to destroy that account. Yeah, it's, it's very non-specific. They start uh, the article with a lot of commas after a cheating, comma, rule-breaking, comma, botting account has been caught in the act. They'll be sent or teleported to Botany Bay. So it's open for interpretation or change of meaning as they go. Mm. So I'm glad you saw that, that post saying that they'd uh, look into taking other cheaters to that island then eventually not just uh, not just bots right the main focus right now I as they have been put on forums and also uh, I watched the live stream that they had the main focus is just removing players using a program that get an advantage in RuneScape that's the main focus right now and then later on uh, basically mod mark just says uh, you know wait and see right mm. So is that any program? Because <clears throat> I know there's one called uh, Swift Kit, I think <clears throat> it's called. There's an app you can get. I don't know about yourselves, but I got it on my phone to look up um, stats and things. Right. You can I'm... run RuneScape through it, can't you? And on, <clears throat> I've seen yeah. it on YouTube videos on the on the side of it. You you've got you can type a player's name and it brings up their stats. Would that be classed as an advantage? No, SwiftKit has been asked about in forums. Uh, SwiftKit is an uh, information gathering program. It's not a auto play program. Oh, okay. It's not an auto clicker, <laughs> an auto typer, or a. Uh, basically, that's what the macros are. They're either auto clicking or auto typing. It's a, a program that repeats the same process over and over and over again. Yeah. And that's what the detection system is gathering the information on as far as the re repetition of it being played in a loop. Okay. And that's where another question that was brought up in forums uh, as we're on this right now. Uh, for the bottom of bay, people were wondering about, well, what if I am got my chat hidden? And I just want to, you, we were talking about before we started recording ADZ, uh, about yeah. goldsmithing. Yeah, you know, well I'm doing it now as we're playing, as uh, we're talking. Right, so you're going, <laughs> we're, you're going back and forth, back and forth, and it's, you got your clicks down pat to where you're basically clicking the same spots over and over and over again. Yeah. And players were wondering, if, are they going to be blamed for botting for that? And uh, Monmark replied uh, that their detection system is more advanced, that it's actually going to be reading or gathering information on, you know, if it is something that is being played or started to, to cause that loop, or is it a player clicking? And then again, that's where we got randoms from, you know. Yeah. So that's what randoms are for, or you get that spin ticket. I'm pretty sure if you get a spin ticket while you're gold you know, smithing that you're gonna click on it so you can get it out of your inventory and get it into the spin or you're yeah. gonna do your spin while you're there. A lot of bots don't. Yeah. And of course for public opinion it'll likely always remain that <laughs> if you're doing something skilling and not talking <clears throat> you're just instantly a bot and that's <laughs> that's always how it is for uh, <laughs> public opinion anyway. Right. <laughs>